Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And uh, one of the things that uh, a lot of you have asked uh, to me, because I've talked about my multi-coupler, about splitting antennas or one antenna, multiple receivers. Uh, one of the things, of course, is um, a question that comes in um, regularly since I posted the video is, okay, when the radio's off, is there still some interaction? Uh, technically, there could still be interaction because it depends on the way that the, raid, the receiver has been designed. If you use, for example, the antenna inputs, like here there's an antenna input on this one, and you have several radios with antenna inputs, and you just split directly, while it is plugged in, there could still be some interaction with a receiver that's turned off. Uh, the other thing, a lot of you have been asking me about, you know, when there's no antenna inputs, what did you do or what do you do? Well, you know what? For a long time and even now, regularly, I simply use these crocodile clips. So I take a wire with crocodile clips and I just clip it to the telescopic antennas of both or, you know, depending on how the setup is done and plug the, uh, the, the antenna directly on the telescopics. That works fine in general. Yes, of course, there is some interaction. Remember that the fact that you add wires like this, this will act, even if it's short, it acts as a wire also, as an antenna. So adding it might add noise. The more you will add clips like this, the more noise you might pick up because of that configuration. But, you know, in general, it works fine. And um, one of the things not to overlook on uh, this is to, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to have really expensive um, devices to split the radios. Like I said, isolation is important on some radios. On others, it doesn't really matter. I've noticed many portables that you just plug in the Keter and it's okay. Works fine. No need for anything special. Um, those that mostly do in general will either show that one radio will be less sensitive when the other one is plugged in. You'll see it. You'll notice a big difference actually. So you plug in to both radios and then suddenly you notice that the signal on one of them might actually become much lower. And then you know there's an interaction happening there. The other thing also is noise. You might notice that when two radios are plugged in together without having, you know, isolation between them that the noise suddenly increases. This is another possibility. It might be that one radio, for some reason, induces noise in another one. Some receivers are internally a little more noisy than others, um, especially when they have a, a lot of them with big displays like this one, often have a little bit of internal noise that can sometimes kind of creep into other radios. It depends really on each radio, which is very specific. And of course, port isolation, like I said, is extremely important if it's an SDR and portable receivers or an SDR with an, a desktop, you'll want to have port isolation because that SDR is definitely going to creep some noise into the other radios. So, uh, you know, try, just experiment. Like I said, in many cases, you'll use, you know, alligator clips like this and find that it just works. No need for anything special. No need to spend money for, you know, some box that will actually isolate them. But depending on the radios, in some cases, you might actually find out that there's interaction, then maybe something passive that, you know, like I said, the most important requirement is that it, they tell you that each port is isolated from each other so that each radio is not interacting and um, there are some cheaper uh, alternatives than my Streetsburg uh, multi-coupler. That definitely is the case. And even Streetsburg, where I bought that multi-coupler, which is an active one, has passive multi-couplers that are less expensive also. So, um, you know, experiment and just have fun. Try it out. And um, if it works, it works. And one little trick on many devices, they're not all. A lot of radios... The telescopic is disconnected when you actually plug in, but some don't, actually. I've noticed that some receivers, the telescopic is still there. So you got to keep it collapsed if you don't want to have noise creep in from the telescopic. But that also means that you can sometimes use that 
trick as, you know, alligator clips from the telescopic of one to the other uh, might actually work also in some cases. So try it out, just experiment and see what happens and um, have fun. You know, that's, I think, the most important thing. And uh, remember, never, never, never put a transceiver in that configuration because if you forget that they are plugged in together, you can actually blow out the other radios if you transmit. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.